Well, uh, uh, Hellickson started feeling his way through that first inning, gave up those two runs, but he pitched outstanding the rest of the way, and uh, uh, I give him a lot of credit. He really mixed his pitches well, <coughs> gave us a quality start. The bullpen obviously did their job again. It's like a broken record, and I'm happy that record's broken. Uh, Blanco came up that, with that big double. Um, uh, Rupp, big two-run single. Goodell, three hits and his first major league home run. That was like a two-iron shot. So it was nice to see. Um, like I said, if this is the way it's going to be the rest of the year, my hair's going to start turning gray, but it, uh, that's fine with me. <laughs> Pete, how impressed are you with the confidence and the resiliency of this team? I'm very impressed. Like I said, these guys have great makeup, and that was one of the one of the criterion for <coughs> acquiring certain players. They get along great. Uh, I wish you could see them in the dugout. I, I wish you could see them in the club. Well, you see them in the clubhouse. You guys do, but um, they pull for one another. That's it's a real it's a real team, and uh, it, it's great to see. And I think that's a, a big part of our success up until this point is the fact that the guys just play hard and, and they're, they're enjoying playing. I guess depending what happens on, with the Mets and the, and the Nationals in the next couple <coughs> days, you guys could arrive to the ballpark on Friday in first place. Is that kind of crazy? Yeah, it's crazy, but uh, hey, why not? You know, I'm, we're playing well. We're pitching well, playing good defense, getting just enough runs to win. I'll take it every, uh, every time, you know. It seems like whenever Blanco is playing, he's in the middle of something, and, and he had that big extra base hit in that rally there. Does he, do you ever, are you ever not impressed by him? No, I, I said it last year. He's the best utility infielder I've, I've seen in my career. He just does so many things for you, and he's, got, he's great in the clubhouse. I'm, I'm not going to sing his praises over and over again because I've done that many times, but uh, uh, he's a lot of fun to watch play. Pete, is playing this way sustainable? Uh, yeah, I think so. If the, it's, it's all about the pitching, you know. Uh, we this line this Miami team has a real good lineup, you know. So so do the Mets, and so so does Washington, and we've held our own against all of those those teams. So and there's no reason for me to to believe that we can't continue to do that. Now, once again, we all, we want more offense, and <coughs> hopefully, little by little, the guys that we have here will will improve, and if we make any additions, that will help. But um, uh, that's the only way I could look at it. I think it, I think it is. What were you guys able to do against Stanton in this series? He went hitless. From the, from I think he went over for 16 with 12 strikeouts, which is a, a testament to our pitching. You know, this guy—you can't make mistakes to him. And uh, I don't think we made one mistake to him the whole, the whole series. We made quality pitches, uh, all 16 at bats. And like I said, uh, that's not easy to do, and our guys did it. What did you see change from Alexson from that first inning going on to the rest of the game? <coughs> Well, you know, if Franco missed, he couldn't see the ball in the in the gray. You know, the, the it was the same color as the ball, and he could, if he catches that ball, it might have been a different first inning. You know, but he just couldn't find it. Um, he continues to throw an outstanding changeup, mix change speeds, and he's been spotting his fastball very well. So, uh, I think that's you know that's what you call pitching. He pitched very well. Now that you won the game, are you? Uh, you think it was good to get Odubel a break? You won without your. Of course, anytime you can sit one of your, or if, if not your best player, uh, to give him a rest, um, that's a bonus if you win the game. And uh, on the other hand, when you do that, you always, you always have him available to win the game as a pinch hitter. But uh, with today off and tomorrow off, it's going to give him a good rest, let his back get back to normal, and be full speed when we when we start the next game. So uh, that's that's something you really hope for. You're, uh, when you've got a hitter like Howard in a slump, um, are you in a catch-22 and you need to get him in bats and yet at the same time <coughs> you might want to get some offense? Yeah, you know, that, that's the thing. Uh, Michael Franco is not swinging the bat the way he's capable of swinging. I, I consider him to be in somewhat, not a slump, but a kind of a funky. Uh, he's not seeing the ball well right now, and that happens. We've seen it with a lot of hitters. Uh, same thing with Howie. I don't think they're seeing the ball well right now, but the only way to – come out of it is to play. You can't come out of it if you're sitting on the bench. So uh, we'll, we'll continue to run them out there and, and hope that they, you know, it'll click one day. Playing so many close games, Neris and Hernandez have pitched a lot and they keep doing the job. Uh, is their usage, is it too early in the season to look at something like that? Or is it yeah, that keeps coming up and I, I don't understand it. I don't think they're being overused. I don't, they have, they, they've been, 
uh, getting days off. They just came off of three days off, both of them. And, uh, you know, when we get, like I said, when we get into July and August, we'll re, re, take a re-look re at it. But uh, uh, to me, it's not even an issue. 